This video is how to link your Bybit account to TradingView. We can trade on Bybit through TradingView and also see all of our account balances as well directly in TradingView. So I've got my TradingView account logged into right here. So go ahead and do that. And then this is my Bybit account logged into as well. So you need those both logged into to be able to link them up. Now what we're gonna do is go back into our TradingView. And from here, we go down to Trading Panel down at the bottom. So click that. And then from here, just search for Bybit. If you can't see it, go down and click See All Brokers and then search for buy a bit. So click that. Now from here we press connect. This is why you need to be logged in on both of these accounts at the same time. So click connect. It's gonna ask you to log in again. So do that in the way that you usually log in, either through an email address or a QR code. You can see it's um, you know making me do the QR code login here. So I'm just gonna log in again. That's logged in and it says, do you want to authorize this connection between TradingView and Bybit? So I want to click authorize. And then from here, you should actually go back into the TradingView screen like this. Uh, and then it's going to log all of your account details. So what you can see here is that I'm actually looking at my unified trading account um, with the spot account right here. And I've actually got some uh, history here. So my trade history of, of buys and sells, uh, but you can also switch this. So if I go to this uh, drop down, you can go to inverse derivatives or the derivatives trading accounts, whichever you want to trade, you can click through them and it's gonna give you the details of all of those accounts. So if I go to inverse derivatives, you can see the positions and any orders that you have. Any positions that you have, any history, you can see all of that within your trading view. Also very important, if you want to trade through trading view, you can do that. And what you're doing essentially is placing orders on trading view, and then they're being executed on Bybit's trading platform. However, you have to be trading the correct assets. So if we go up to the top, this is the asset that we're looking at right now, which is a Bitcoin uh, USDT perpetual contract. So click the symbol search, and then go to crypto and then go into all sources and then search for Bybit. These are the assets that are listed on Bybit. Uh, these are the markets for these assets on Bybit specifically. So I'm gonna click this one here, which is the BTC perpetual contract. And this chart is the Bybit chart, right? The actual exchange on Bybit rather than somewhere else. Cause you can't trade assets that are listed on other exchanges through Bybit, right? The price feeds aren't the same. So make sure that you're looking at assets listed on Bybit and the assets that you wanna trade. And then you can see your positions in your Bybit account here. If you wanna log out of Bybit, just click this icon, click log out, and then the connection uh, will be logged out for you. We can also set up alerts from our TradingView account that get sent into our Bybit account. So if you want to do a lot more charting on TradingView, which a lot of people do, uh, it's easier to set up alerts and you just have a lot more uh, data to play with and a lot more functions. So what we can do is go to the right hand side and then click this alarm bell icon and then we're going to set up an alert. So create alert right here. Now from here we can go back into our Bybit account and we can link the alerts so that if we do want to trade on Bybit, so if we want to get alerts in our Bybit trading account or even sent to our phone, so if you have alerts linked to your Bybit account, you can set the alerts on TradingView and that actually gets sent through to your Bybit account on your phone. And you can get the alert on your phone, click into it and then trade if you want to. So from here, we are setting up the alert. What we need to do is go back into our Bybit account. So I'm just in the trading screen right here, uh, derivatives trading screen. It's the easiest way to get to it. So get into your derivatives trading screen, go to TradingView alert right here. So just click this and it brings up all the stuff that we need. So here we're gonna set up an alert. So right here, it says, this is your webhook URL. This is unique to you. Um, so don't let anyone see this because apparently if someone knows this and sees it, they can actually send uh, push messages to you, which could be potentially fraudulent. Uh, in any case, it just says, do not share this. So don't share it. So I'm gonna copy this URL. I'm gonna make sure that I've read the instructions, agree and copy. So I've copied that. Now what we can do is go back into our TradingView account. Now what we have to do is go into our notifications because without sending a notification to Bybit, it's just gonna stay in our TradingView. So come down to webhook URL and toggle this on. Now, if you're using this feature for the first time, it may ask you to set up two-factor authentication uh, with Google Authenticator or something. So it will say, you can't use this until you set up 2FA. So go ahead and do that. Also with webhooks, I believe this is part of the paid version of TradingView. So if you're using TradingView for free, you won't be able to send messages across to Bybit. You do have to at least have the first paid version of, of uh, TradingView. They often give discounts or leave links below to TradingView. I do recommend it. Uh, it. I think it's good value, but if you don't want to use it, then you won't be able to use this feature. So I'm going to paste in my webhook URL here and then go over to the settings. And now we need to make sure that the message 
uh, is getting sent through properly to our Bybit. You can see this icon right here. So we need to change this. So I'm going to go over to Bybit. And then it says this is the message template. So I'm going to copy this here. That's the template for the message when it gets sent. So I'll go back and I'll just paste that in. Now where you can see here, it says your optional message here. You can type something in here if you want. So if you're setting up an alert, for example, a price alert, you can see we're going to have a price alert of crossing a certain price. Um, so this is the price that if the price crosses that will get sent an alert just once. And down here, you can put that message in whatever you want. You know, we've crossed this price. When you press create, that's going to send that message over in to your Bybit account for you. That will actually be within your trading screen. So it will pop up if your trading screen is open or you can set it up to push to your phone as well. Go into your Bybit settings. That's this uh, icon right here, your icon, and then go down to settings. And right here, you should be able to toggle on your settings and push messages. Settings, you want to toggle on maybe announcements or trading view alerts. Just make sure that those are on so that those actually get through to you. If you are a trader, check out the deposit bonuses to the exchanges I use down in the description below. Trading view link down there as well. I'm James, it's Money ZG. Cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.